<laughs> oh, would you believe it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, Babaka hogs again. Video, 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 video. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? He's off again. Oh, dear. Can't be without him for five minutes. Video, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry for your mum, John, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sorry good. For her. Sorry, yeah? yeah, not good. Well, what, what, what is the flower for, Which colour? White or red? I think, I think um, the, the, the funeral, we were going to... Uh, well, it's pink, it's roses and orchids. What, Hello? Uh, what, is the flower for, for the grief? Ro roses and orchids, I should imagine. Yeah, rose, I know. Which color? Which color? Pink, I should imagine. Pink, pink, yeah, right? yeah. Why are you pink flowers? In the garden, in the back garden. I thought I'd sit down and get a bit of fresh air and sun. I've only just managed to trim the grass. First time this year. Hello, hello, Michael. Yeah, oh, goldfinch has just turned up. Just sitting in the back garden at the moment. Babica's just turned up. Spring, <laughs> spring is most certainly here. Michael, you can hear the goldfinch in the background. And here comes Puddy Tat. She's after the grass. But yeah, spring is definitely here. Ah, the doomed garden. The strawberries that I planted last year on the YouTuber. They're starting to kick off now and there's a few flowers. Got a limited amount of onions and some garlic that I put in last year. You can see the white on a pordum, like a giant thistle. As to whether they'll flower this year, I don't know. Another big one over there on a pordum. And there's Puddy Tat. And the triangle over there's done quite well. We've got bluebells and a white bell and Herb Robert primroses and we had cowslips. There's even some Euphorbia shillingii in there, but it's generally flowery and weedy. Someone's having a good chill with the grass. I do assume that is grass. And there is a honesty plant in the background. Remember we had one last year, it was a lot bigger than this. But we do have the one near the path, near the concrete. So there's one honesty plant. But there's quite a lot around now, little ones. The one that seeded last year you can see that there's there's one over there just near the lavender there's a few of them about so you've got quite a few honesty plants rosemary is doing well might be able to take a few little bits off of it this year but not ever so much This 
triangle here. Doesn't appear to have so much of the wild flowering as the one where Puss Cat is. But yeah, it's, it's not too bad here. I should imagine the compost has sunk a little bit. It has been rotting down. And there are some narcissile daffodils in the background. And a Burginia elephant ears, which was basically my Uncle Bill's plant of memory, and now Stuart. The parsley in the recycle bin is getting a bit on the, the old side, it'll probably go to flower this year. But if you ever want to grow some parsley, isn't there's no point. There's <laughs> no point growing it from seed because it would take too long and you might get a lot of seedling dieback. What you do, if you want to grow parsley in a pot or a recycle bin or anything like that, just go to Aldi or go to Waitrose or Sainsbury's and get one of their potted ones there. Hello, Daryl. Thanks for joining me one of the woodside mates yeah just saying about growing parsley if you want to grow your own parsley in a, in a pot or an old recycle bin just go to the supermarket and get one of their potted ones and then what you do you break it up and then you you put it in a block and water it and you will end up with a really 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 thick block of parsley it's so much easier doing it that way rather than grow it from seed. I mean, you can grow it from seed, but you can get instant instant results from just getting a, a wrapped pot of parsley at the supermarket, break it up and just put it straight in. It's just piss easy. Cat's going back indoors now. But yeah, we've, we've certainly had some flowers. It's nice to see the combination of the um, The yellow and the purple and a little bit of white out the back here starting to fade off a bit now although the the blue bells there's a couple of white bells as well ah uh, your brother he's in he's in the area is he this is harrington road south norwood see i'm not too bad today i'm talking quite good but i was a bit on the rough side yesterday try to get as much exercise as possible i've got the 166 from Croydon I ended up at flipping Epsom and then I got to Epsom it must have been well almost six o'clock well earlier than that and it started to chuck down with rain it's a first bit of rain we've had for a, a while so it was pretty cool and wet but I still managed to get myself a coffee <laughs> and a muffin in Epsom but nah I was up and down and then I just about struggled to make myself a tuna bog last night. Oh, laying in bed trying to uncomfortably digest it. And then I just rested, basically. But it's great for you to um, stop by, Daryl. But this, this is a Facebook Live. I'm using data, so it should give me the choice to um, save it. But yes, I'm actually in the garden for once, if I'm allowed to keep it. swing it around I've had a little bit of sun I'm not entirely sure what these flowers are they come back each year I would rather not be using data but oh well <laughs> And there's your blue bells as well. So you've got blue and white bells. And the blue bells coming up in between all the rotten wood. These are hybrid ones though, they're not native. They're a mix of native and um, uh, 
Spanish. And we've got Herb Robert, pink flowers. And that Herb Robert plant turns a very nice color in the, in the autumn months. You can see the cowslips are finished now. We've got a very strange plant here. I'm not sure what this is. We've seen it before, but we'll just have to find out what happens with it. Mouse ear chickweed. And we've got the um, bird's foot trefoil. I'm not really sure what this is. I was hoping it would be a corn cockle, but no, my luck, it's just a weed. But I'm going to leave it anyway. But this corner, this little triangle look really nice. A good old Euphorbia shillingii. Lovely sculptural plant. You can see another one of these strange leaf plants here. Very nice shape. There's a plantain in there as well, look. Another herb Robert randomly growing there. But there doesn't seem to be so many of the wildflowers here, just the cowslips and the grass and have got a big some dandelions. Here's your parsley pot, but this is last year's parsley pot. And that will it's still edible, but it will go to seed. And here's the bigger one. I've picked quite a lot of parsley off. I don't know if the I have to keep watering them. I don't know if the um, beetroot will come to anything. Hey, Jeff! Hey, Jeff! I'm not feeling too bad today. Great to have you on board. I was just saying, Jeff, parsley. If you want to grow parsley, don't do it by seed. I mean, it's literally piss easy, Jeff. Go to Aldi or Tesco and get a wrapped up pot of parsley. And then all you do, you break it up into little bits, make a rectangular block in like a recycle bin or something. And you'll have literally a shitload of parsley for a year. We'll take a look at this Burginia elephant ears can hear a gold crest in the conifer now gold crest bird and this is basically the plant that I know my uncle Bill and Stuart by Burginia elephant ears and lovely narcissus or daffodils these have been going for so long literally these have been going for weeks these daft dodils and as you can see there's a honesty coming up here and that's the purple spire flower plant let's get a close-up that's the honesty and more goldfinches and lost in here somewhere there's only the one a snake's head fritillary just the one the others are down there but I think that the winter was so wet that it might have killed a lot of the bulbs they rotted the bulbs There's a big crane's bill there as well. Look, massive crane's bill. Yet to flower. And I've got wild carrot in there as well. And then feathery leaves of wild carrot. And that's the common hogweed that you may have seen me posing with last year. And a nice cow parsley, which self seeded. So I can't wait for that to flower. And we've got a little clump of nettle here and some kind of Senecio groundsel type plant. There's another bay laurel seedling just come up. I've got to dig that up and repot it. Feed with you. Um, uh, Rudbeckia, the Rudbeckia there as well and echinacea this is all wild garlic so you can eat the wild garlic i've got that from keston myri grove where i'll get the, the old bottles lovely stuff this wild garlic 
that hooker, the size of that hooker on the corner, massive. And this is marjoram or oregano. And yes, the ice plant, the sedum, it did survive. And yet again, more honesty plants, one there. There's one in there. Hollyhock, it probably will never come to anything. Same with the um, lupin. <laughs> And here's uh, another cow parsley on the corner. And there's one over here. A much bigger one near the wall. It's hard to see in, in, the, in the light. Three seedlings of hornbeam that came from near the shell garage on Portland Road. Aces saccharinums. I don't know whether that's for me or upstairs. No, it's not for me. <laughs> There's an alarm going, and I thought it's for me, but it's not, it's upstairs. Lovely. Couple of tomato plants on the go. Just in Halloween candy tubs, basically, or cauldrons near basically Halloween candy cauldrons with a couple of tomatoes in. There's a few yew trees there, one, two, three, and these are sweet chestnuts that grew from seed. Box plant, that's, that box is the... Um, the sturdier box, not the um, clipping box. I think it's the type. And this is the original hookah, the original hookah from the 70s or 60s, 70s, 80s, with the pinky flowers and pale green blue leaves. So it's a nice daisy there coming up. I've left the daisy, it's coming up nice. Look. Sage, I've got a nice clump of sage as well. Another honor them there, smaller one. This is peppermint. I think it is. Yeah, peppermint. You need to keep that watered. So yeah, doing well. Lavender. And there's your rosemary. Skimmias. These have been here for years since I first moved in, the skimmias. And this has come back as well. Epimedium is it? I'm trying to remember what it's called. And yet again, two more hookahs, and they're doing very well. But I haven't got anything in this section. I did have I did have the pea frame here, and it lasted for a while until the wind blew it down. And it was pretty strong as well. But the wind blew it down. I don't really have the strength to remove this or cover this up with grass again at the moment. Mahonia, Mahoney! There's a Mahoney in the corner. And the um, Petiolaris Hydrangea, or Hydrangea Petiolaris. Let's go for the compost, eh? Mmm, <sighs> yum, yum, yum. It's definitely rotted down a bit, hasn't it? There's a bit of wildlife in there too. And I think we'll end with Puscat. girl never leaves me oh this girl never leaves me I'm so blessed 
I really am so blessed. But she she doesn't really settle on me in the garden. There's too much to look at and she eventually just runs off again. <laughs> but I'm so see what I mean? She she just won't stick about. <laughs> Not in the garden, there's too much to get her attention. <laughs> oh well. Switcheroo. Yes. Not feeling too bad at the moment, but as you know, up, down, up, down, up, down, like a fucking yo-yo. I've had eardrops, they run out long ago, and I had nasal sprays, still got the nasal spray. But, um, yeah, just have to see, I keep having up and down moments, you know, I'm not too bad at the moment, but we'll just have to see. But I thought I'd make an effort to do a video and I should be able to save it and then I'll upload it to the YouTuber as well. I cannot remember what these white daisy flowers are like, they're like a dog daisy but a miniature dog daisy. And then you've got the Michaelmas daisy different again but it was like a short white daisy with yellow in the in the middle and it's come back again I've just got to keep things watered so I'm not doing too bad I need to cut some of the tips off of this um, pityosporum as well just reduce it a tiny little bit That's either a great tit or a blue tit. I should imagine a great tit. Anyway, I think I'm going to knock it on the head now. Just strim the grass, finally. Thanks for joining me. I mean, if you, some of you may watch the video later once it's up. And I'll probably add it to the YouTuber as well. So quite a lot of plants growing. I know pretty much all the names. I need to get my mind going, to be honest. <laughs> Keep myself busy, mentally. It's been a very tough time. Definitely. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, everyone. This is Jonathan Moore, DJ Puff the Third. And I'll signing out. <laughs> yeah, so keep on with your, your sunshine and your gold finches <laughs> and tlue blitz. <laughs> they are around. Just keep on with the fresh air and the exercise and the sunshine. And I'm sure we'll all be just grand. Oh, it's that olive oil. Anyway, bye for now.